Do you want to be able to afford the best players and open the best packs in FC24? Go to u7buy.com to buy your EAFC24 coins. It's more economic than buying FC points and just as reliable. They already offer some of the best prices out there, but you can get an additional 6% off using promo code ELI at checkout. Right, what is up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. We have meta, meta, custom tactics for you guys today. It is the 4 triple two. If you can tell, my, my team looks kind of all over the place. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I bought a new, brand new PC. I lost all my logins to... Uh, my PlayStation Plus, EA Play, <laughs> I lost it all. Uh, it was my brother's old account, long story short, so you can't recover it. It is what it is, gotta start off brand new, so the Arsenal past and present is gone. So, starting off from scratch, I played all day today, so you guys have to give me a little bit of time so I can go ahead and uh, create some more tactics for you guys, because I had all my templates, everything saved on there, and... Uh, for me to transfer everything from there to here is going to take forever. So I'm just starting off brand new with some new gameplay going from there. So just bear with me. Give me a few days. I'll, go, I'll get working on authentic tactics, meta tactics. Just give me a little bit of time. But from now on, we're going to be going over the 4 triple 2 So this tactic right here, uh, I've been using it since I started off the game. Again, I'm back in Division 7. I've been playing for a few hours now. Uh, haven't lost a single game. I've probably gone like... I don't know, 19 and 0, 20 and 0. No, 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 no. I'm lying. Like 16, 17 and 0. No, actually maybe like 20 because I play the division, the uh, the cup as well. But this formation right here, I love, I love this formation. It's just like a 4, 2, 3, 1, which is the perfect entry level formation for any game. But the 4, triple 2, it just allows you to be a little bit more attacking. You have two strikers and I do have the cams tuck in a little bit more. Um, so when they do tuck in, they both act like actual cams. They don't act like wingers uh, i'll go over how to customize it for yourself in a little bit i'm going to go over the tactics first then i'll go over how to customize it for yourself what the formation is good at and all that good stuff so yeah for all the all of you guys that think i ramble on too much there's a reason why i go i go in detail over everything but if you're just here for the tactics then just stick stick through um balance 37 width 60 depth uh right now i am playing new gen for old gen you're just gonna drop the depth to about 57. Uh, 60 is fine too on old gen. New gen, I found 37 width is actually not that bad. If not, you can up it to 40. So old gen, 37 width. New gen, 40. Um, old gen, 57 depth. New gen, 60. If not, you can start off both on 37, 60 and kind of customize it a little bit for yourself. It's just kind of to each your own, whatever preference you have right there, but I will recommend sticking around right there. Um, if you do want to do a little bit of the auto press, then go ahead and add the auto press, which will be the 71 depth. I have been using it on new gen. I don't really like it. I like to play more conservative. I like to play aggressive, but I like to play aggressive whenever I'm playing, not whenever my opponents or sorry, my AI is moving players out of position for me. And then I'll get caught on counters, especially when I'm playing with this weak team. I'd rather play very conservative, but at the same time, aggressive when I want to be aggressive and playing at 60 depth allows me to be right in that dead center that that good middle sweet spot to be able to press and play conservative at the same time. I am playing balance balance on both chance creations. The reason why is because I don't want players to run out of position. I want to be able to control when they move out of position. I don't have the best team. As you can tell, this is my team right now. I'm evoing up Athena. I have Ian Wright, <laughs> not even his special card, not even his uh, winter wild card. Uh, so I have not the best team right now. So I don't want my players to move out of position. I want to be able to send L1 triggers whenever I need them to go on runs and R1 triggers when I need them to come to me. So I can do quick L1, uh, quick one twos, quick one two threes, whatever I need to get done. So I can do a lot of more dribbling and a lot more passing instead of making my players run away from me and doing through balls because my players aren't fast enough to do through balls, if that makes sense. But if you do, if you are a through ball merchant, you do like doing through balls either throughout the wing or up front, then switch it to direct passing. But I recommend starting off balance, balance first, and then switch to direct passing, and then kind of up to you which way you want to go after that. Uh, you'll see what's your preference for, but for me, balance, balance with 53. So just a little bit up uh, the normal, but the only reason why is because it allows the cams, the right cam and the left cam. So these two, 
to cut inside so they're gonna start off wide and then cut inside whenever you are getting into your opponent's final third um, and then it'll just basically these two right here will kind of alternate positions every now and then they'll just kind of be going in and out um, into the middle actual camp area being able to slide back and forth doing passes within each other just doing like a lot of passes within everybody it's just triangles everywhere so honestly you're literally playing a 4-2-2-2 two, two, two. Not a 4-4-2, but a 4-2-2-2, especially if you're playing a balance, balance instruction with this width. Um, try it out. You'll see what I mean. If you don't like it because you feel like it's too narrow, then I recommend switching to a 4-4-2 or upping the width to about 71 to 65-ish. Somewhere on there just to make the cams be way more wide and act like actual wingers instead of cams. Players in the box, 5. I'm fine with 5. Um, I don't need to move, play, put a lot of players in the box, but if you need to be a little more aggressive, you can put six or seven, kind of up to you. I recommend starting off with five so you can kind of balance it out a little bit, um, do a little bit more passes by yourself so you won't get caught on counterattacks. If I'm honest with you, since I started playing, uh, since I started replaying everything, I think I've only conceded maybe one or two goals, and this is probably one of the reasons why I haven't been conceding a lot because I don't have that many players in the box. Um, corners and free kicks, you can do whatever you want. Uh, players who you need where this is very very important meta 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 center backs like I say all the time just get the best center backs you can get I got Militao and Van Dyke they're both on basic chemistry they're fine they're just they're, they get the job done that's all I need them to do so that's fine uh, right back left back make sure that they're good at attacking defending because they will get involved a lot in the play um, they can do through balls over the top through balls um, whip crosses any type of passing traits any type of dribbling traits, relentless play styles, anything like that. So just good fullbacks that can do a little bit of attacking, a little bit of defending. Uh, so you kind of know who to play where. You have two CDMs. Now I recommend playing one medium high work rate of CDM, so more defensive minus CDM. So I got skip right here. Um, and then one more box to box center mid. So I, for me, I have Park G Sung. What I recommend playing is playing a very, very defensive player here. So like a skip, like a, like a Makalele, an Angolo Kante players like that that are good at sitting back and then on the right side a ball carrier a ball, a ball progressor so Park Ji Sung, Bruno Fernandez, Sawa, um, Frankie De Jong, players like that, Luka Modric that can kind of go forward, dribble a little bit, make passes, do long passes to switch it to the other side of the field uh, because they will be involved a lot in the play. They're going to be involved a lot with the buildup so just keep that in mind. Your cams Right cam, left cam, make sure that they're fast, pacey wingers. Uh, if you can have five-star skillers and five-star weak foot, preferably put them there. Clearly, I don't have that yet. Um, but in an ideal world, you'll want to have like a Neymar and like a Puteas here. Five-star, five-star, somebody that can dribble, attack, defend, all that good stuff. And then your two strikers. In an ideal world, you want to have two five-star weak foot strikers so they can finish anything. Um, I'm not a big of a skiller with strikers. I'm more of a skiller with my wingers. But I would like to have... At least a five-star weak foot like a Eusebio or some, somebody like that, Dollar Gleesh, that could just kind of cut inside, shoot, score. A Cruyff will be good here too, and Bappe will be fine too. Uh, somebody that can just finish anything, lethal, lethal strikers. Uh, that can kind of alternate be between positions, and they're not one-dimensional. Like They're not just a lefty or just a righty like a Salah or like uh, players like that, you know? Dybala that will only have like a two- or three-star weak foot. Uh... Goalie comes for cross the sweeper keeper. That's it because of that whip cross meta. Both center backs stay back while attacking. That is it. Right back stay back. That is it. Left back stay back. That is it. If you want to make it more attacking, then go ahead and switch it to overlap. But I don't want to make it that attacking. I want to play more conservative. Hence why I haven't been receiving a lot of goals, especially with this weak team. And you'll be surprised in Division 8, Division 7. Uh, they already have like team of the year players, sedans, uh, George Best, players like that. So just keep that in mind. Um, that I've been trying out these tactics. No, I'm not just posting them just to post them. But yeah, if you want to make it more attacking, then put overlap on both CDMs. Your left one, your more defensive one, is going to be cut passing lane, stay back while attacking cover center. And your more attacking one is going to be cut passing lane, stay back while attacking cover center and deep line playmaker. Just because they're going to be joining on the attack a little bit more. Doesn't mean that they're going to be bombing forward. But with the deep line playmaker, just they open up into different positions to be able to uh, receive the ball, give different passing lanes. So this is extremely good. If you like to attack with your fullbacks. So for example, when I attack with my right back, if I push them forward, then Park G Zong would just 
cover his position, the right back position, but like right in the middle of the CDM and the right back position to be able to give an extra passing option to join in on the attack. Uh, so keep that in mind. Both cams are come back on defense to so defend in a 4-4-2 and get into boxer cross because when in doubt, a cutback will get you out. Brand new PC, brand new everything, and I'm still doing cutbacks. It is what it is. That's the best way to score in this game. You got to do these cutbacks. And then both strikers stay central. That is it on both of them. Do not touch them. Don't put get forward or stay forward. Don't put getting behind. Nothing. Just start off with stay central. And then migrate from balance, balance. You can migrate from balance, balance onto balance, direct passing, or even forward runs. Once you get used to that, then you can switch your play style to maybe one get in behind striker and the other one stay central. Uh, but I recommend starting off with this four triple two, building up from there, and then kind of going forward to see what you like, see what you don't like. That way you can kind of customize it for your own. Um, but yeah, that's the only other thing I recommend. Everything else I will leave it as is. Everything else I will leave it as is. But yeah, now this is the part where you guys can click off the video unless you guys are one of my uh, OG viewers. Yeah, guys, I lost the whole Arsenal past and present team. I lost my Sedans. I lost my Garinchas. I lost everything. Henri, that one hurt a lot. Henri, I had just bought William. Um, who else? Man, guys, all my Reds. <laughs> I lost all of them. Odegaard, all of them. Uh, it is what it is. Got to start off new. Brand new beginnings. What can we do, you know? It is what it is. Um, at least I upgraded. I had to upgrade. I had to get a PC so I can make better content for you guys. I will eventually learn how to draw on the screen so I can do better things for you guys. Maybe like some coaching boards, some tactical vision, stuff like that. Um, and we'll go from there. Hopefully, this will allow me to make more authentic videos for you guys going forward uh, to a point where I could probably post like one a day or two a day in an ideal world. And then I could probably start streaming as well so I can show you guys how I play. Maybe with some authentic tactics, maybe doing an authentic tactic weekend or something like that. Let me know down below if you guys are interested in anything like that so you guys can actually see uh, my mindset on how I create certain tactics and how I play with them to test and trial, try them out before I post them. And yeah, let me know if there's any other players that you guys would think I should get for 10k coins because that's all I got right now. <laughs> but yeah, I'll probably make a series two going into division one from this little division with this team. But yeah. All right, guys, that's it. That's enough ranting and uh, just kind of yapping around. But I will catch you guys on the next one, guys. Be safe. Drink your water. Peace.